Welcome back to another Reality Check video review. In today's video, we're going to be looking at making this giant wooden sword. That's right, it's Link's giant wooden sword from Zelda. If you can't tell, it's not quite finished yet. We're about 50% there right now. We've actually printed the top two sections with wood filament that took quite a while, and the bottom sections we made of black PLA, and right here I've got this wrapped with tape because I want it to kind of have that leather look once we get some paint on it. So uh, anyway, I've decided I'm going to paint these bottom sections kind of a goldish paint, so it looks like a, you know, a gold sword, and the top part we're going to sand with wood. We're also going to add some wood filler in here and see if we can't make it look like a complete sword. We're going to be using some Krylon all-in-one uh, all metallic gold for the top. Whoa. We've also got some glitter blast just to add a little bit of a finishing touch to make it look a little sparkly. And lastly, we have a matte finish. This is going to make it so it's not a glossy finish. I do want to have a glossy finish on the top of the sword, but the bottom of the sword, I want it to have kind of a, a rugged look to it. So we're going to be using the matte finish for that part. Lastly, we have some of the red mahogany minwax uh, wood stain. So we're going to be using that to make the top of the sword look a little darker and more like the, the, the wood texture that it actually is. Of course, in order to make the top of the sword actually blend and make it look complete, we've got two different uh, pieces of sandpaper, one of the thick pieces and one of the thin, so that we can actually get the all of the different imperfections out of the way and to smooth it up a lot. Lastly, we are going to be using our 3D pen to uh, actually get in here when we're finally done and do some actual 3D pen welding to make sure that all of our creases and our crevices are completely secure. Even though we're going to have some glue in between them, it's going to be really nice to have that 3D weld ability to make sure all of our parts go together seamlessly. So let's get started. Rather than using the wood filler like I was planning to, I think I'm going to just use the 3D pen to kind of weld the plastic around the entire sword, and then I can sand it from there. So I'm going to try that and see if that works a little better. It actually smells like wood burning when it comes out.
that's pretty fantastic looking already. And remember, we only had one original cut, but we added two others to make it look more like it was actually meant to be that way. It gives a little bit uh, better look overall. So there we have our wooden sword, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually probably keep it right about this color right here. So we're gonna let it dry right now. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun recreating the Link wooden sword. Uh, it, it is just a, a lot of fun to play with. And of course, the look of it is just insane. It really does look like wood. It smells like wood. It feels like wood. Um, so the, the filament there is really, really cool if you want to uh, make things like this. Of course, I did print a few other things. Uh, I've got some Harry Potter wands that will be coming in the future. That's right. I even have the Elder Wand right here. Magical. I know. How do you think I do so many cool magical things? It's because... I have the Elder Wand. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make some more videos here coming up soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.